It was the day before the big social studies test on American history and all the kids at cool school and cruel school had to pass the test or else summer school. That's it! I'm not taking this dumb test! Back to the books, kid! Or good luck in summer school! Ugh, who needs history anyway? Wait a sec, that's it! Nobody needs history. I'll just go back in time and erase it! All of history gone! Then no social studies test! <laughs> It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendis and his mighty penultimate! Today's episode is gonna make history, literally. It was the day before the big social studies test on American history and all the kids at cool school and cruel school had to pass the test or else summer school. That's it! I'm not taking this dumb test! Back to the books, kid! Or good luck in summer school! Ugh, who needs history anyway? Wait a sec, that's it! Nobody needs history. I'll just go back in time and erase it. All of history gone. Then no social studies test. <laughs> hey, Drewfus. I mean, Drew, old buddy. Not now, Ray. I'm studying. I was just going to ask if you want to go back in time to meet Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, and all the other cool people back then. Hmm, that does sound pretty cool. Also, would be a great way to study for the test. I could ask him all my questions. Ooh. I always wanted to ask Thomas Jefferson an important question. Like, was it hard to write the Declaration of Independence? No, how he invented mac and cheese. That was a genius. Totally, I love mac and cheese. Uh, wait a sec. Why are you suddenly being all nice and friendly? I just want to meet the guys who started our country. Is that too much to ask? Hmm, I guess not. And I guess I could just draw a quick time machine. Now that's what I'm talking about. Well, I'm coming along. Quick, you guys, over here. Drew didn't know Ray was up to no good, so he quickly sketched the time machine, and he hopped inside with Ray and Nikki. Hit it. First stop, 1776, for the signing of the Declaration of Independence. When our country became America, land of the free and the brave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And off they went, way back in time to the year 1776. They hopped out at Independence Hall in Philadelphia, where it all began. That must be Thomas Jefferson. And that must be the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> so long, American history. So long, social studies test. Ray, wait, what are you doing? But it was too late. Ray had already erased the entire Declaration of Independence. Oh, good heavens. Then he swiped the keys to the time machine. I'll take those. Catch you later, stinkers. Or not. <laughs> Quick, we can't let him get away! With no time to spare, Drew sketched a second time machine and hopped inside. Back to cool school. But when they stepped out, nothing looked like cool school at all. At least not the cool school they remembered. Ella, is that you? Why, of course it's me. Whoever else could it be? Pardon, don't mean to be a bother, but we're running behind the clock and we are quite late for reading hour. Reading hour? You mean story time with Miss Booksy? Uh, no sir, I meant reading hour with Lady Library. Well, that's not her real name, but we had a good laugh from it. Didn't we, Robert? Ha ha ha. Indeed, Eleanor. Anyway, we're set to be reading about the origin of the monarchy and all the King Henrys, so we'd best be off. Cheerio. Something is definitely not right here. They're all British. Well, of course. Don't you see? No Declaration of Independence. No America. Britain rules. Oh, no. You're right. He erased the Declaration of Independence. We have to fix this. Drew knew he had to do something quick. So, Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drewpendous. Come on. Back into the time machine. Drew quickly hopped into the time machine and traveled back to 1776. Uh, Mr. Jefferson? What, what? What's going on? Who are you? Anyone lose a child? An oddly dressed child? Shh! No one can explain! Well, it's actually kind of hard to explain. You see, we... Heard a rumor that you and your friends were planning on writing a document of sorts. Yes, declaring the independence of America from Britain. Oh, that. Yes, we tried, but sadly someone came around and erased the whole thing. Some things just aren't meant to be... But, but... With all due respect, this is totally meant to be. It took too long to write, so maybe some other time. Anyway, time for tea. Hmm. Suddenly, Drew had an idea. Mr. Jefferson, 
What if I told you this pen will write everything for you? Really? <gasps> this pen is simply amazing. So much easier to write with than Aquila and ink. Gentlemen, this young man in his underwear and cape has a magical pen. And he would like to give the declaration another try. Here, here, here. Better not be any disappearing ink this time, Thomas. Relax, Johnny. I feel good about this fellow. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary, and the Declaration of Independence was underway. Wow, we're actually seeing it being written. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Amazing. This is going to be a great addition to our future. Trust me. Not if I can stop it. Suddenly, Ray came flying at the Declaration, but this time Drew was prepared. Stop right there, Ray. Drew quickly used his pen to sketch a giant quill pen ink shooter, and then he squirted all of Thomas Jefferson's ink right at Ray. Call it quits and we'll let you down easy, Ray. Ha! No chance. Ray used his eraser and erased the ink off his face. Then he gave the bookcase a big shake, took him tumbling down on top of Drew. Whoa, whoa! Sayonara, Drewfus! Hey, the declaration is here to stay this time, you ruffian. Thanks, Nick. I have an idea! I'm on it. With Ray inches away from the declaration, Drew quickly sketched a super awesome mac and cheese tosser. Load her up, Nicky. Uh, what is this stuff? Good old mac and cheese. Although I hate wasting all the cheese like that, not really why I invented it, but okay. And in came a second, and a third, and a fourth gob of mac and cheese until Ray was totally stuck inside. Let me out of here, Drufus. Oh, we will. Just in time for our American social studies test. Back to the time machine for you, Ray. And this declaration is staying just where it is. Time machine? Oh, uh, long story. <laughs> Thanks for all your help, Mr. Jefferson. That's a great piece of writing you got there. Really appreciate all you did to start our country. My pleasure. Good to meet you, Drew. And off they went, back into the time machine, this time with a heaping ball of ooey gooey mac and cheese. Then they all hopped out of cool school on the other side, and everything was back to normal. American flag and all. Better get cleaned up fast, Ray. Don't want to write any cheesy answers on your test. <laughs> Get out of here, Drew! Uh, uh, uh. Well, kids, Drew saved the day once again. There were no more Brits walking around cold school, and evil Ray Blank was in a sticky situation. Uh, uh. Ray, is that you? Maybe. All of this just to get out of your social studies test? You know what this means. Detention! Moral of the story, boys and girls, without the Declaration of Independence, there'd be no America. And if you're around when someone tries to erase it, you just carve them up with macaroni and cheese. It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. This story is going to be revolutionary because Drew is going back in time to meet George Washington. Uh, okay, Sarah and Zach, this is the big one. Today's assignment for the Cool School Times is to cover George Washington crossing the Delaware. This was the big surprise attack that was a turning point in the American Revolutionary War. This is the number one reason why you don't drink tea every day at 4 o'clock. Cool. I really don't like tea. Then Washington is your man. He drove the British out of Boston, but then the British won the Battle of New York, and things were not looking good. I want the real story. You two are my ace reporters. Are you up to it? Yes, sir. I think we have everything. I even read up of the Patriots. Patriots? All you need to know is that Tom Brady is awesome and pretty cute. Not necessarily in that order. The American Revolution Patriots. They fought the war against the British. Hello, the article we're writing? Oh, okay, right. I'm ready. Well, then head on over to the library. I'm sure Miss Booksy can help you find some books about that time period. Good luck. Library? We can do better than that. Way ahead of ya. Hey, Drew! Can you draw your time machine for us? We want to go back to meet George Washington and learn about the crossing of the Delaware. Sure, that sounds awesome. We'll be back by three, right? I kinda can't miss Crafty Carol's class cause my slime mold is almost ready and it could do bad things like explode if I don't get back in time. Don't worry, I'll get you back. Nobody wants exploding slime. You ready? Let's do it. Um, no coat? I'm not cold. But we're going to be crossing the Delaware in a snowstorm. I'm fine. If you say so. Okay, here we go. Time machine. Take us to Washington crossing the Delaware. Time travel in three, two, one. I did it. 
I did it! Success! Um, where are we? Welcome to the invention of underwear. Not underwear, Delaware. Guess I've got to keep working on those voice commands. Look at my magnificent invention. Way better than my previous attempts. Okay, let's try that again. Time machine. The crossing of the Delaware. <laughs> Let me guess, the flossing of the teddy bear. I guess third time's the charm. Cool! Drew, can you draw something for us to get down there? You got it! Presenting the History One Explorer! Awesome! Let's go find us some patriots. Does this totally cool machine come with heat? It's freezing. Is this a bad time to say told you so? Yes. Excuse me, oddly dressed children, but we've had a report of spies in the camp. You wouldn't happen to be them, would you? No, we're reporters from cool school. Ah. Besides, would we tell you if we were spies? Sarah, not now. Well, it's kind of a dumb question. What a lovely child. I get it. You can't be too careful with spies around. Can't let the British know about your sneak attack. Is General Washington around? We're supposed to interview him. He is over yonder, just waiting for the weather to clear. Luck is on our side. Uh, I hope. Hello, General. You seem a little young to be soldiers. We're not soldiers. We're reporters. Reporters? This is supposed to be a surprise. Are you British? British? No, we're from cool school. And we won't tell anyone about the surprise. Promise. Well, all right, if you were British, we'd have to take you prisoner and find out what you know. And frankly, we just don't have time for that. I can assure you we don't know anything, except don't leave until General Lee gets here from the north. Now, how do you know that? Uh, don't worry about it. You know, General, you seem a little stressed out. Well, let's see. We lost the last Battle of New York. My men are deserting. We have a week until the enlistments are up. And then I lose the other half of my army, so yeah. I'm a little stressed. Perhaps this crossing isn't such a good idea. It's snowing and pretty cold. It's freezing. Well, okay, freezing. You really should be wearing a coat. It's all gonna work out. I just have a hunch. I appreciate your optimism, young man, but I don't know. Maybe if it doesn't get any snowier. Gonna be a huge storm. Sarah. Gee, she's a barrel of laughs. General, look, it's gonna be great. The British will never think you're coming, especially in the snow. You're right, young lad. It's a blessing in disguise. Let's do it. Everybody, to the boats! You got your camera ready? Yup. Got your notepad ready? Uh-huh. And Drew, I hope you've got your pen ultimate. Let's do it! Get ready, everyone. It's almost time for a battle! Drew, Zack, and Sarah are about to join General Washington as he crosses the Delaware. Stay tuned for part two to find out what happens next. And don't forget to subscribe!